Good afternoon. Uh, let me figure out this volume situation. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Perfect. Perfect. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Uh, congratulations on uh, being the committee chair. This is your first Thank meeting. You. This is what I hear. This is my very first meeting. Correct. <laughs> And um, I wanted to, I'm glad you're there because I like, uh, you and I, I like to have a sit down with you also to share some of my views and stuff after this meeting, if possible, oh, yeah. and schedule it. Okay? Okay, yeah. So let's see how it goes today because I did speak with uh, the, uh, Mr. Baptiste, the chair, about uh, preparing for this meeting. Okay. And a couple of members of the group committee already so let's see what happens so uh, so you're going to be so you're going to give me hosting capability because i like to share my screen for, yep for uh, making okay. you co-host right all right you should be good there uh do you have a secretary for the no actually that's one of the things we're going to do Okay. But if you look at the agenda, there should be there's a designation for secretary in this meeting that's going to take place. Perfect. And that yeah. was made at the beginning, but not, nobody volunteers. So we're going to try again. I'm going to try something else. Okay. okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me add these folks. Uh, I think I want to change my background. I think it may be a little bit distracting. Uh, uh, Let's see. I like this one. I like this one. No, 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 that's a little too dark. Oh, I want to get it. Hold on. How is that? Do I look? Uh, all right, I gotta put my lights on. Let's see. We should make it better. Let's see. Do we got Ellie admitting? Hola, Brenda. Hola, hola. 
Okay. Okay. You know, I want the stars to be my background, but I don't know how to quite make it my background when I'm actually in the picture. <laughs> this is deep. Stop laughing. I see you. You want camera. Stop it. <laughs> oh my God. You need a 12 year old. You need a 12 year old. That's all you need. Still got a, I've got a lot of work to do. With you know, this. Oh, but you know what? You go to the, go to the, go to your Zoom and I think it gives you, oh, everybody doesn't give you options. Yeah. I th I'm not going to mess yeah, so with this it. This one doesn't give you options. That's why it does that. Weird. Because mine, in on other places, I my teacups come up. Yeah, it's weird. And I, like I, I want it's that to my be name. my background. But it, it, yeah. it is only the background when I, I'm not in the picture. When I'm in the picture, there's a blank. It's just me in, in my home. Um, uh, okay. Is, is um, Lily looking for a star? Excuse me. That, that background there, Lily. We can search it for a rocket. What's going on? Breathe the hush. I'm trying to do some I, business here. I, I gotta do what I gotta do okay. myself. I'm gonna mute you. Um, ah. Okay. Hi. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Let me start my camera again. Hi. I have two documents that I'd like to put in the chat. Is that all right with you? What's your name? You should be from the CB9. Are you the new? Are you the new? She's the new. That's the new office manager. Yeah, it's the Arnwine. What's your name again, dear? Uh, my name is Dante Arnwine. Okay, hi Dante. I'm Julia. Um, I have two doc. I know I sent a lot of stuff, but we're just going to get a lot of business done today. Um, can I put two things in the chat? Will, you, will that be all right with you? Yeah, um, I, I have no problem with it. The, the chair is is running the show. Okay, the chair knows. Okay. Perfect. Yes, Julia, it's okay. Are those the same document we spoke about earlier? Uh, documents. No, it is something um, additional to what we talked about. Okay, because I just got a. Uh, uh, I want to put also a link in the chat because just got an email regarding the conference on the nineteenth. Also, no, that that's, not, that's not what I have. I have, because when we get to the part, where we're nice. going to, when we get to the part where we're going to talk about the um, park, uh, nine, nine, park. right, right. I have, nine I have 65. yeah, I yeah. have some more documents to show. I just, uh, okay, let me mute. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Rachel. And Maya, hey. Hi, everyone. How's it going tonight? Oh, I don't started officially, right? We haven't started yet, right, Dante? Okay. Right. Uh, no, I have not. I was waiting for a few more people to come so we could get started. Okay. Mike, I'll my introduce myself chat. and then now uh, and we'll just go to the agenda. Okay, let's wait another minute or two and then we'll get started. Okay. Yeah, it's on 10 now. I don't know where everybody is. It's a nice day out. What do you think? It's a very oh. nice day out. I just came back from uh, walking the street. So, Me too. So, so yeah. uh, you look like you're still in orbit there, Nicholas. Yep. I look like what? <laughs> you look like you're still in orbit. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's my background. So I got to come up with another appropriate background for this. Okay. So, uh, got one more. Okay. So, why don't we call this meeting to order? and get uh, properly started. Uh, my name is Nicholas Armono. As you might, might have seen and heard, I now have been, I've been asked to chair this committee uh, and I gladly accepted. And one of the reasons I gladly accepted because I have a park right in my block. 
So park is of concern to me. So, uh, and this committee has been doing a lot of work. So I've been assigned to the committee uh, from before I was just a member and I said I was interested in working with everyone and anybody who, for this particular endeavor because we all live in this community and we got to make it safe, enjoyable for everyone in CB9. So whatever I can contribute to do that, I will contribute. That was that is my uh, that is my uh, goal. And um, having a park in my uh, block gives me a sense how important this committee is and the kind of work it can do for the whole CB9. Uh, just a little bit about myself uh, for people who don't know. I recently retired after 35 years as a chemistry teacher from New York City Department of Education. So uh, I'm a, uh, I work mostly in this community board. I spent first 20, first year, 21 years of my teaching at Westwick Heights High School. I'm a graduate of Wingate High School. So I've been around for quite a while. So, uh, and from there, from Prospect Kite, I spent uh, something like, uh, I spent five years at Brooklyn Technical High School. And in my last 10 years, I was a home instruction teacher. And I've been all over this borough. And all, or you could say, except for the Bronx, I've been all over the five boroughs working for home instruction school, teaching kids at home. So, uh, Youth and community has always been my lifelong uh, interest since high school. And uh, being part of the community board is a way right now that I am retired. So is a way to give back a little bit more uh, than what I used to do. So I'm gonna put out the agenda. I'm gonna share the agenda if anybody don't have it. And then we, I put we the have, have any questions the, for me. The agenda is in the chat. The agenda is in the chat. If you haven't seen it, I could, I could uh, if you have not seen it, I could show it to you very quickly. And then we could start talking about that. If there's anything you'd like to add, uh, so let me know, then you could put that on the new business. So we'll just, I'll share my screen for a moment and then we'll go to that. Uh oh, it's taking too long. It's oh, the she, third still thing in outer space, so that's it's the third thing in the <laughs> you're right. <laughs> can I share? Can you let me share my screen and then I'll, I'll pump it up? Nicholas? Make, oh, yeah, yeah there yeah. it is. Okay. So does somebody have the minutes from the last meeting? Nicholas, does anybody have the minutes from the last meeting? I'll check now. May Maya, it will be from February. There was no March meeting. Is it Maya or Mayna? Mayna. Oh, I'm Mayna. sorry, dude. Mayna. I don't think we've met. I don't think so. Um, we have. I've been around hiding. <laughs> well, then that's difficult for me to see you, no? Um, shortly. I, I know you don't want to see my plate of food, my snacks, okay. I should say, yeah. stuffing my face. Give mm -hmm. me a few minutes. Okay. It depends on what you're eating. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was eating cookies. I haven't gotten to oh, dinner. Oh, you were snacking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Okay, what is this we're supposed to be looking at? The wake screen. It's, it's a, an empty black screen with a blue circle. That's the wake screen. Okay. What are we waiting for? back down to 10. Who left the meeting? Uh, is somebody getting the minutes from the last meeting? I'm looking. I don't see it in my emails yet. I have a lot of email, unfortunately. Give me so, okay. Is it is the chairperson here? Nicholas yeah, but here. I think his connection dropped because I don't see him as a participant right now. Yeah, he dropped off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for coming in late. Where are we at? The beginning. <laughs> we have not started. We have not started. Oh, we haven't started yet. No, we're no. waiting. No, we started the meeting, and now we're trying to approve the minutes from the last February meeting. Oh. We haven't seen any minutes yet. All right. I see the January fourteenth one, but we're looking for the February one. Right. All right. I have the January one. I have February 2014, but I think that's a little. That might be a little bit outdated, just a tad bit. <laughs> but it's I good don't... to know you keep these things. Might be interesting though. I did a search for minutes in my email and the only one coming up for us is the January one. January, yeah, I have January too. I'm back. Just like, back on the I agree with if you have your television on. I think part of our issue was that we didn't have minutes. But I don't remember. Um, okay, that was a minute. Okay. Wow, I can't get Okay, can I wave that we, we the reading of the approval of the minutes? Nicholas? Nicholas, can you hear us? Yes. The MSNBC, I think. <laughs> Nicholas, can you hear us? Hi, Alicia. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Tamara. Hello. You've missed nothing. We're waiting to, we're waiting for Nicholas to get a good connection. No Unmute yourself. 
Okay, can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. All right, sorry about that. And let them to share my screen in the Zoom crash. So I have to switch to another device. Okay, I'm in the process of asking people to introduce themselves. I know a lot of you have been to the meeting and not, but I just like to get to know everybody just to show about yourself since this is like a restart, okay? And we could start with Mr. Awine. Okay, well, uh, hello, I'm the new district manager for CB9. Um, you know, I don't have much to say, but I, I appreciate you allowing me to, to, to be a part of the meeting. Um, you know, and I look forward to having future conversations with you and the rest of the committee uh, regarding all things parks. Um, as you know, uh, I have talked many of, often about, uh, you know, this office being extremely transparent. So within the coming month, uh, you will be hearing from me. Um, but I hope uh, to have a, a great and fruitful relationship with uh, with the full committee. So thank you. Okay. Mr. Kras, how do you say, Jerome? Uh, yeah, you can call me Jerry Kras, yes. and I'm a professor emeritus at, at Brooklyn College, and I was a long-term resident of, of PLG. Uh, no longer, I'm a non-resident member of this committee, and I've been a member of it for, for quite a while. Okay, well, Brooklyn College is my alma mater, so oh, you have alma? That, okay. yeah, we have that in common. I sent did, some did good you ever have me? over there. Were, were you ever my student? I did graduate and other graduate chemistry over there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a sociologist, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, I've known quite a few people in the sociology department still. So, yes. Next. <laughs> Samara, Samara? Hi, I'm Tamara McCaw. I'm a recent sort of public member, live in the neighborhood and um, have a background in the arts. So I, I love parks, but I also love that we have space here for um, to talk about culture as well. And Ms. Boyd? Alicia is muted. Uh, my name is Sim Khabaz. I'm not turning on my video right now, but I will later just because I uh, have kids around. I'm not ready. I work for Repair of the World. We organize volunteers that were done on Notion near uh, St. John's. Um, and I'm uh, happy to meet all of you here today. And um, yeah, that's it. Take, yeah, take a moment. I'm Ms. Boyd. You're muted. Hi, my name is Alicia Boyd. I am a community resident. I represent uh, uh, MTOP, the Movement to Protect the People, and Flack Flower Lovers Against Corruption, and Save Associate. Thank okay. you. Our chairperson is there, Mr. Baptiste. You just say a, few words, a couple of words. Oh, very few words. Uh, Fred Baptiste, Chair of Community Board 9, just very happy to be here with the Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs Committee. Uh, and I just wanted to uh, you know, congratulate uh, Mr. Almanor officially on his first meeting, I believe, as a chair of the committee. Thank you. Ms. Julia? Hi, it's Julia Bryant. I am um, a public member of the um, committee. I've been on this committee for two years. I My focus is um, saving things that have to do with the Botanic Garden. And um, I'm very interested in green spaces because I think that communities need to preserve them and take them take them very seriously. Mr. Collins. Yes, sir. Hello. <laughs> Hello and good evening. My name is Maurice Cummings. I'm special assistant to uh, Councilwoman Alika Amprey Samuel. And um, more importantly, I'm a, I'm a community member. I live in the community. So I try to, you guys have simultaneous meetings going on. So I'm, I'm in and out of meetings, half hour here, half hour there, but just try to make sure that I, I have an ear to the ground on everything that's going on for myself and for my council member. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Mayna? Hi, my name is Mayna Labute. I've been a community board member since the last for I think a year and a half. Um, I live 
I live in the community. I'm on Sterling Street in Nostrin. Um, I'm I'm happy to be uh, to be a part of this community, of this um, committee because I'm into. I love the parks. I'm a runner, so I spend a, well. I spend a, most of my time in Prospect Park, especially during COVID. But I like I love to run anywhere possible. Is Brenda Pagan or Pagan? Yes, that's the right way to say it. Okay, yeah. you all see my stars. Now you see me. Um, how are you doing? I am a member of the community, have been for many years. I am a retired from the Board of Ed teacher, but still a teacher nonetheless, educator. Always a teacher. <laughs> yes, always. That's what I do. That's who I am. Okie doke. And uh, I am on Community Board 9 since last year's beginning of the term last year so that we can help to maintain and improve the parks that we already have and perhaps get some more money into the parks. That's it. Uh, Ali M. Unmute yourself. Ms. Ali M. Hi there. Hi. Hi, I'm Ali. Um, I'm, I live in the community, just came here about a year ago, and I'm part of the Maple Street Community Garden, so that's kind of how we heard about it and have been trying to help distribute the knowledge. Okay. Yes. Ms. Rachel Coulter or Calter? Yeah, Rachel Coulter. Hi, everyone. I'm Rachel. I am also um, someone who lives in the community and a member of the Maple Street Community Garden. I'm here because Brenda sent the link around earlier today with information for life for uh, fight for sunlight. Um, and I'm also running the arts and events committee that started there. So I'm ha very happy to be here. Oh, great. And I know we heard from Ms. Baez before. Baez? Simka Baez? Yeah, we heard from her. Sorry about that before, excuse me, Ms. Boyd. I also live on Maple Street as well. Um, I live in CB9, but our office is in CB8, and we work in both. Okay, so now we all introduced, so we are now we're going to become a stronger family that we already are. So uh, let's, uh, I know this committee has been running, so I didn't get a chance to, to any, I, to review the minutes, but we'll probably we'll leave that and approve them for the next meeting. But I think we should go to the next order of business. This committee strongly needs a secretary. So would, I would like to put the call out there. If can we get somebody who would like to volunteer to take the minutes? And also there's a need for a co-chair. So uh, what can we get either volunteers? Is, uh, let's get volunteers. Anybody are interested in doing those, those two functions so we can properly do the work of this committee. Is there anyone interested in any of these two positions? I would like to nominate. Bright. Oh, can I nominate somebody? Sure, absolutely. I would like to nominate Julia to be the vice chair of the committee. Is there any objection? No. Or debate? Or is there anybody else interested? Well, seeing none, I think we would like to welcome Julia Bond as the co-chair. Thank you. Okay. So um, how about secretary? So we need somebody to uh, take the minutes for us. I'm not good at taking minutes, so I could tell you that. And also wanting the meeting at the same time. Can we get a volunteer? And can somebody nominate someone? always is the most fun part of most committees of choosing who's going to be secretary. <laughs> uh, 
and, and if I could just say a word about that. Um, I know there's a lot of hesitation. Um, being the secretary is really one of the more critical roles of the, you know, most committees and the board as well, uh, in terms of it really documents the work we're doing. It, you know, it itemizes the list, it sets the priorities, you know, it really, you know, it captures the conversations that you guys are having. And that's going to be very critical in terms of you guys being able to move forward. Um, I know that sometimes it's daunting because we feel like you have to be there and you have to, you know, either be an excellent typist or you have to take 700 pages of notes or write a full transcription. And that is absolutely not the case. Uh, really, all you're doing is, you know, you, the, the, the essential part of it is if there is a motion put on the floor by the committee, you capture that. Uh, who made the motion, who seconded, and that the, the committee actually voted on something. So it's items, of, it's, um, it's minutes of action, those things. If there are major points of, of a conversation or major things that are brought up, to capture those, but it's not as critical. Um, really, in essence, minutes don't need to be more than a couple of pages long. And really, you're following along with the agenda and just capturing those things. Um, but I just really want to put a plug out because I think it's really important and it's critical, especially given the work that you guys are doing, uh, that this committee is doing, I should say. Um, it's important. So please, you know, to consider either volunteering or alternatively, if you know, there's something else for the committee to consider where you rotate, where this way the burden is shared amongst the committee, where it's like one month somebody will do it, on another month someone will do it, and you just set up a rotation in that respect. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Mm. Mr. Chair, I think Julie has her, uh, Julie Bryant has her hand up. Yeah, go ahead, Ms. Chair. I'll take the minutes this time and then, but I'm not gonna do it next time. Okay, so we'll keep, uh, we'll keep looking for someone for until we get somebody. But a question, I mean, we, the person doesn't have to be a board member. It could be just a community resident that volunteer. So we just make sure we have everything recorded, okay? All right, as long as it's a member of the committee, it's fine. Uh, and Ms. Bryant, thank you so much for offering this month. And you know what? Listen, there's only two more meetings. Well, I don't want to say only. There's two more meetings <laughs> scheduled after this. Right. If somebody will bite the bullet for next month and one for June, we're covered for the year. Yes. So is anybody, you know, just something for you to think about it. So somebody who's willing to make that commitment now or, you know, at least think about it next month, you can just make the determination who's going to take next, next month. So what we can do next month, we'll have for volunteer for that particular day for that particular meeting and the following month until we get somebody who's willing to do it on a permanent basis. Fair enough. That said, so let's move on to the agenda. Uh, I can do next month. This is minor. And Nicholas can't hear you very well. I don't know if anyone else can, but you sound distant. Um, Bina, you rock. Is better? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm looking. Okay. Um, next on the agenda is, uh, as long as I need this opportunity. Next on the agenda is long term, short term. Um, long term, short term goal, yes. Yes, dear. All right, something is going on with my computer, which is what I'm saying, yeah. Okay. So what I would like to introduce is that um, we got, I want to take a long view of what we can do for now for the season that's left. One of my uh, feeling is that uh, it's unfortunate that uh, we offer two months, especially for parks and recreation, when a lot of the parks activities should really kick in the summer months. So uh, the question is, uh, what kind of activity can we plan for the for the summer month while the uh, while the body is not meeting? Because 
uh, that's one of the things. The other thing is that we should start really to do a parks inventory. So let's find out. I understand this one. Nicholas, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we still can't hear you very well. I didn't mean to shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he changed, you know, so you still there? he changed devices again. It's my understanding that we have a very large agenda here tonight and we're already at 730 and we have not gotten anything done except intros. I'm, I'm the co-chair. Can I move it along? Please. Okay. Please. So the uh, next. Yeah, go for it. I think he dropped off. He's probably trying to come back on. So okay. start okay. the conversation. So, He'll jump back in. So we were talking long-term, short-term goals. Um, and the discussion was um, long-term, short-term goals. And we have two months to plan something. Why don't we do this? Why don't we, since this was Nicholas's item, um, why don't we um, um, table that? I'm going to table that until we get him back on. Is somebody admitting somebody to the room? Because I keep seeing these things that say admit. Can I admit them? Yes, you you should be admitting them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, um, so the, um, but the point but it but I'm sorry, the, the staff should be doing that so that you don't have to do it. So it should I be made her, I made her a co-chair, so she's going to see exactly what I see, but I do admit people to the room. Yeah, okay. so that way you don't have to worry about that. Do it. Yeah, that's, that's why I, I, was, I was just calling it to a, attention. So, um, okay, so the next item, the, the next uh, item is, um, I just pulled up the the report. report the park alienation subcommittee thank you thank you okay so um is that no i just pulled it up the wrong thing oh i had it no shoot i just i just looked at it a minute ago um subcommittee okay here it is so there was a subcommittee and we sent you a zoom or we sent you um, the minutes from the subcommittee. The subcommittee met February 25th and um, it was, we had an explanation of the alienation of parklands and then we had a summary and then we um, made a vote to have a call to action. And the next step is implement, implementation of the call to action. See the parklands documentation submitted January 20, January 21, at the January 21 meeting. So um, the documents that we submitted, gosh, the document we submitted is a letter. Can I, can I share my screen? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Co-host. Okay, um, it is in the, it is in the chat. It is in the, okay, if I share my screen, no, now you see everything. You don't need to see all this. Um, it's in the chat and it is, can you see what I, see? can you see this now? No. no. Okay. Um, hey, let me go back. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Um, no, here it is. Oh, here it is. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, mm -hmm. this letter was sent. This letter was sent to um, everyone on this committee. If you are new, then you did not get it. Um, Brenda, can you help me out and and uh, read um, read through this so that okay? Can you do that for me, dear? 
Yep, the city of New York has made a determination that significant adverse shadow impacts will occur to the Brooklyn Botanic Garden, Parkland, and the Jackie Robinson Playground due to the proposed 960 Franklin Avenue development. In 1991, the city put in height limitations along the perimeter of the garden to protect the Brooklyn Botanic Garden and the Jackie Robinson Playground from high rise development. This, this section of our community is the only part of our neighborhood with height restrictions. Please join us in protecting the Brooklyn Botanic Garden and the Jackie Robinson Playground. According to the New York City Parks Department, Brooklyn Botanic Garden's priceless living collections are a source of beauty, learning, and inspiration for the community. In addition, the Jackie Robinson Playground serves over 1,500 low and moderate income families of color in the community. That's it. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, yeah. so what our action, what our call to action was is that we would like to submit this letter to the CB9 community board to ask them to ask elected officials to sign on to this letter. So at this moment, what the action is, is that, okay, let's, let's do this. The subcommittee voted for it. Um, we're opening it up to the floor to the committee. You've had this letter prior, so it's not like I want anybody to say that this is the first time we're slipping in it, this in on you. Um, and if you have any further, further discussion about this letter, um, I, I'm, I'm opening it up for discussion. Okay, Fred, I'm, I'm seeing your hand. Thank you very much. Uh, and I just want to thank the, the subcommittee for their work uh, with regards to, to crafting this. Uh, the one thing I, I definitely need to share, and I probably should have shared this earlier. So there are parameters around what the board is actually allowed to do at this point. Um, and, and the background is, so in March, there was a temporary restraining order, which was placed on city planning, on Department of City Planning, uh, and CB9 is included as an impact party with regards to that. So, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay, there's some feedback. There's some feedback. Right, please. Nicholas, just mute yourself. yourself. Yes, thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So, um, so the effects of the TRO uh, are currently that uh, one, the Euler clock has been suspended. So the Euler clock has stopped tolling. The other impact of the, of the TRO is that we are not allowed to have the public hearing. There are conversations that the judge has uh, mandated that CB9 have in conjunction with the developer, along with the Department of City Planning, with regards to um, you know, how we implement the hearing in terms of how many participants, uh, if there's physical space, if there's uh, accommodations that are made for people who don't have access to technology, and a number of other things that we have to consider. So that's one of those uh, things that was uh, mandated by the judge. That conversation hasn't happened yet. But the other impact that um, the TRO has on us is that we are not to make any determinations or have any votes with regards to proceeding, you know, with regards to, you know, any recommendation in terms of how we're proceeding. So, you know, at this time, it might not be in order for us to actually have a vote. Absolutely discuss the, the, the you know, the, the letter itself what the intent of the letter is, if there's any additional information you want to add. Uh, and that goes for all aspects of the 960 project. Um, so if there's any questions with that, actually, absolutely the committee can discuss that. They can discuss some of the findings of the subcommittee in terms of if there was any information with regards to park alienation that you, you've come up with that should be shared. Um, if there's commentary or initial reactions with regards to anything that's been presented already, absolutely in order. Um, but the, the actual vote for this recommendation might not be in line with the temporary restraining order. So I would advise that we don't do that for now, but absolutely have a conversation about it. Can we have further discussion? Okay, Fred, help me out and put your hand down so that I don't call on you a second time. Sure. Okay, does anybody else have any further discussion on this? 
Yes, Alicia. Um, you know, it's it's amazing how I could I could be the person who follows a lawsuit. I could be the person who writes the orders. I could be the person who actually attends the hearings. And I could be the person who knows more about this lawsuit than anybody else. And yet somehow information never seems to arrive correctly at the community board. They said there could not be an official vote on the hearing, on the EULA process. A letter sent out asking elected to sign on to a letter is not a part of the official EULA process. It's not a mandated process. It has nothing to do with the EULA process. This could be done whether or not the EULA process happens. And the EULA process right now has been stopped. So there's no EULA process. The judge was very specific. You cannot take an official vote on the EULA process. Everything else is permitted. Requesting letters, requesting information, requesting support. Um, and that's what this letter is. This letter is requesting support for the parks department's position. But, you know, it, it, it's amazing how we could we could fight so hard in our community, do so much work, and then the moment that we are supposed to do something, it just gets stopped because somebody has an impression about the law, which half the time the community board doesn't even follow. Like, for example, I have been asking how many times, how long to find the documentation about the request that community board was supposed to have been making of the developers and the city for information and that still has not been responded to. And that's the law and community board doesn't have any problem with not abiding by that law. But all of a sudden we can't, you know, send out a letter telling our elected officials to support. But this is how community board, these are our compromised board members who, who truly do not have the best interests of the community or our public green spaces at heart. It's always being manipulated by unseen forces. Um, and it's a shame, and I do have to apologize to all of the people who were very enthusiastic, who attended the, these meetings and put a lot of effort and time into it. But now you see the political reality. And it is that anything that we try to do in this community, it will be dwarfed by developers who have their hands in their pockets all in our community board members, um, including our chair um, way of handling business as usual, which is the community can't do anything. We just meet. We can't do anything else. Anyone have anything else? Thank you, Alicia. Does anybody else have any other comments? Just for the sake of getting the letter ready, if we are able to send it, if we would ask specifically what we want the officials to do, because we're asking them to please join us in protecting the garden, but how how would they be helping us by voicing All their opinion? All they do is sign on to the letter. Oh, just, the the letter. just sign on to the letter. So, so what it would be is that in a public space, you would have this letter and then this public official has signed on. This public official has signed okay. on. And given the fact that we are now in the climate of people who are running for office, uh -huh. it is a good thing to have this letter in, in circulation. Would you have signed the letter? Could you sign the letter? Or, you know, are you backing us or are you not? So it is, you know, quite frankly, it's public theater. Let's see who would stand up with us. You know, anybody can say that they will stand up with us. And then when you say, put your name on the line, then that's something different that's, that will occur. Okay. Where so, will the letter be placed? We're sending it out for them to sign on to it, but is it gonna go to the newspaper? In the public, we, could, we could put it in an ad in a newspaper. Okay, we that's could, what I was wondering. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, those things are available to us. Okay, is there any other further discussion? Um, I just want to add, Fred, just for your uh, for a point of clarification, I have read the TRO and I have read the letter that came back from the judge. There is nothing in that letter 
that says that we can't have continual meetings. And since I was on the subcommittee, I definitely read the email from the judge just to make sure that we would be safe with that. So um, to, for it to be represented in another kind of way, I just feel that it's being represented in a way that is not the way that I read it. I'm, I, and I'm a, I'm a pretty good reader. So is there any further, any more discussion? Do we, as a group, as a, as a committee, um, can I get a motion for us to take a vote on this? A motion that we take a vote on the letter at hand and sending it forward as is requested by the subcommittee. Is that a motion? That is a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Okay, let me just, since I'm a secretary, I'm gonna to have to stop here and write. I think we should further determine where we're gonna send it, how we're gonna send it, and when we're gonna send it. It doesn't, doesn't need to linger in a drawer. Point of information. The vote will go to the executive committee and it will be discussed. Right. And that's, that's, that, and that's, that's, where, it, and that's that where it will die because Fred will tell everyone that it will be a violation of the law in order for anyone to vote on it. And everybody at the executive board would just listen to him blindly. And that's where your letter is going to die. But please, you know what? we're going to do our part. Exactly. We're do our part. Let's do our Let's part. Step up. Let's step up and do our part because then it will be on the record that we did it. And right. since I'm the secretary, I will be able to write it down. Okay, so so it was, um, and okay, it was a motion was made, it was second. Can I get, um, can somebody help? I, I don't have everybody on the same screen. You have to, you have to remove, you have to remove the letter. Oh, I have to stop sharing? Right, stop sharing and then you can see everybody. Okay, um, so all in favor, can I get all in favor? Um, can you put your little hands up? If you're not on screen, you could put your, um, uh, if you're not on screen, what do we do? They should be able to raise their hands. Yeah. If they go into the can more- they, Can they do the chat or is that not allowed? Yeah, we can, you could, oh, could you? You could do react, you could do, you could do the reactions button. Okay, one, two, three. Um, four. I'm raising my hand. Five. five. One, two, three, four, six. five, six. I see seven. six on this screen. Seven. Okay, I have seven. Did anybody else have seven? seven. Well, now let's call out the names. We're all here. We've given our names already. Let's call out the names of the seven. Start with okay. Brenda Pagan. That's one. Brenda. That's one. Alicia. Two. Tamara. Tamara. Who's next? My, my subcommittee. You better vote for this. Mina. <laughs> Mina. <laughs> okay. Rachel. Rachel? Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I got five. Okay. Jerry? Um, Allie? Yes. Okay. I got Allie. I got the screens are cha changing. Okay, wait a minute. Is somebody voting in the chat as well? Okay, and Brenda's in the chat. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got seven and then all opposed. Take your hands down if, you're, if you've done it. You're just, you know, there's only so much I can do. Okay, all opposed. Okay, all abstaining. Maurice, are you not voting? Are you, are you, oh, because you're not a member. You're just, you're I'm just- not a member of the board. You're just visiting, you're just visiting. Okay, you. take this back to your elected official that we're doing this action. Okay, so if you're gonna bring something back, bring this back, okay? It's in the chat, the letter's in the chat. Okay, so you can see it. I don't mean to point at you. I, I, I apologize, that was rude. No, okay. Thank you. Okay. So um, 
What is this? Someone's talking to me in the in the chat. Okay, okay. Simka, are you gonna um share it as well? Thank you. Okay, so you're gonna take it back as well. But even though you're not on the committee. Okay, I got it. Okay, I see it. Okay, so um I say that this motion passed. Okay. Okay, let's go on to the next piece of business. Okay, the next piece of business. Okay, wait a minute. First thing, we are now at 7.52. Um, can I get a motion? Okay, Nicholas abstained. Um, can I get a motion that we um, extend the time for this meeting for another 10 minutes? Is that all we need? Girl, just stop. <laughs> Let's start with 10 minutes. Okay. All right. Let's take Second it a motion. Okay. Yeah, make a motion. 10 minutes. Okay. Send time to 10 minutes. Second it. Anybody going to second it? Second. Who's that? Who, did, who said second? That was Tamara. Sorry. Okay. Extend time. 10 minutes. Okay. So now I have. The next piece of business is the, um, oy, 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 sorry. Um, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. <laughs> You're mute, Julia. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I have it now. I'm going to share my screen. I think I can do this. God, okay. Okay, so I have a little, this is um, um, regards to um, the presentation regarding or the update regarding the um, 960 Franklin Avenue. Can you see my screen? Yes. It's lovely, isn't it? Isn't this a lovely presentation? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, lovely. I'm just saying, it, you know, it, like, it just took a lot yes. of work on somebody's part. This is really quite lovely. Okay, so what I'd like to, you to understand is that um, all other things aside about whether we can vote on something or whether we can't vote on something, one of the things that we cannot do is when we get an opportunity to make any kind of discussion about the 960 um, property, 960 Franklin Avenue property and the EULA process when, it, when the clock goes back. We need to make sure that we have a document that is called the Restrictive Declaration. Um, well, it's the Restricted Declaration. And this restrict, I'm gonna just read along. The Restricted Declaration, the RD, is a legal binding document that runs with the land in perpetuity, memorializing the provision of the, long, the large scale development project, the LSGD. A full draft RD will have to be completed prior to any certification. That means like you need to see exactly what any developer is going to put on the ground. Now, this, follow with me because this has to do with the um, parks um, and recreation um, and pre preservation of parkland. Upon the approval of the LSGD will be subject to the restrictions of the restrictive declaration, the RD, affordable units, beyond the MIH will be a will bound will be bound in perpetuity to the RD. The RD will memorialize the respondent developers intent to provide child care facilities. The area um, dedicated to public space, that's us, the area dedicated to public space will be memorialized in the RD. The RD ensures the percentage of affordable units. The RD will ensure the adherence to a 
9.7 floor area ratio, which is generally called the FAR. Max, maximizing the building instead of the 10, which will allow, which would be allowed under R9D. RD will control the design, height, and density of the LSGD. Height. Okay, my point is keep in mind about the height. The declaration shall include a copy of the RD with any application made to the DOB for foundation, new building, alterations, or permit for any portion of the LSGD. The RD will be recorded against the property as part of the proposed actions, similar to the 1991 height limitation that nobody can find. Okay, the RD will ensure the proposed project is the reasonable worst case development scenario. We're hereafter referred to as the RWCDS. The RD represents the maximum development that would be permitted on site. The RD represents that large scale development project will contain 11 buildings, 11 buildings. The RD will be included as part of the ULERP application, but we're not in that now because the clock has stopped. The RD will place a maximum height restriction on that site that could never be exceeded. The RD could not, would not expect any development to occur on lots 140, 77, and 85. Okay, let me just back up and tell you why I think that this is important for this committee. When you talk about the Botanic Garden and you talk about any development in that general area, the reason why you wanna be concerned and as the parks committee, we need to be concerned is Height is shadow. Shadow is death to a garden, plain and simple. So I just want to say that I made this presentation to the Parks, um, parks Recreation and um, Culture Committee, and I want it to be part of our minutes and that it goes forward when we present our minutes to the whole board of the CB9. Now, I just wanna, because we don't have a lot of more time because we're almost at the end, I'm going to um, share my screen. I'm gonna share my screen one more time of one more document that's in the, that's also in the chat. Uh, and it has to do with those other properties. And I'm just gonna show you God, I hope I can find it. Okay, it's in the chat somewhere and I'm going to... It, there it is. Okay, the reason why this is important is when this developer said that they were going to make, develop these properties, these lots do, are not consistent with what they put in the application. So a simple thing like this and just catching it, it looks like it almost could be a typo when it is not a typo. <laughs> is in explaining that this number, these numbers here, 41, 40, 41, 46, 63, 77, they are planning to develop more than they say. Now, the last thing that I wanna say about, I'm gonna stop sharing this because 
it's a little bit on the boring side and I know it's a little bit in the weeds, but in the weeds, come on, where it parks. Okay, so let me just say this one last thing about it is by being mindful of this, this is how someone can slip something in on a community of any kind. And I'm gonna say it quite frankly, it is how some people would like to do it to a community of color because it's, if, if nothing else for me, it's just disrespectful. That is harmful, that it's dangerous is one thing, that it's just disrespectful because they think like, I can't tell the difference between that. And so this is just what I'm saying is the parks and parks, recreation and culture committee needs to see, we need to see the actual restricted declaration. And we have not gotten it yet. We have not gotten it yet. We have been asking for it for two years. When we went to ask for it at one meeting, I was one time faced with 11 cops at the door. Okay, so if you weren't here, then you don't know what had happened. We asked for it and we were met with cops at the door because obviously it must be really important if we're asking for it and we haven't seen it yet. So I know other committees have asked for it and I'm just gonna ask if we can get a motion that this committee asks for CB9 to request from the Department of Buildings and who else, who else who else would we be getting it from? You, um, the app it is not at the Department of Buildings. It's with it is with the Department of City Planning. It is a, the draft scope of the restrictive declaration has to be given to the Department of City Planning before certification. So that means is that they have the document. Fred has made several statements on the record that he's asked for this document. Is that not correct, Fred? That is correct. And Fred has made the position that no one has given him the document. Is that correct, Fred? That is correct. Okay. So I see that you want to get, put a motion on the floor for Fred to ask for it one more time. I would like that's, to, that's, that's the motion that I'd like to get. Well, I will sec I I would second the motion. Uh, can I make a motion? The chair can make a motion. Co-chair. Co-chair. Can I co-chair make a motion? I'm asking for Your somebody number. to make a motion. Okay. A second. Okay. All in favor of making this? Okay. The motion is that we ask CB9 to request. Department of City Planning for this restrictive declaration. And now you understand why it is important. It is something that's in the weeds, but if you don't have it, then they can tell you, you see that there are two different documents and they said one thing and then they said something else. So we need to see the declaration, the restricted declaration so that we can see what they actually are gonna be restricted to build. Okay, one, two, okay. any more, three. Four, five, six. Can I? Sorry. Can I ask a? Can I ask a question? Uh, or no, not once the motion. Of, we're in the middle of a vote. So, um, is it about the vote? Yes. Well, I, okay. I just. I, okay, so I, okay. Everybody, put your hands down. Let Tamara ask your vote. Ask your question. So, if they haven't given it to us, do we think that? This like I you know I happy to do it, but I'm like if this, if 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 it's not gonna is this just for us to have it on the record that there was a motion for us to ask for it that we didn't just on our own as a board of office ask for it? I'm I'm just trying to get a sense of like do we actually think that that, that we're gonna be able to get it if we haven't if already? We don't ask it. for it. You can be damn sure we're not gonna get it. Okay. Don't ask. You won't get it. But the point is, it's been requested. So exactly. I mean, this is duplicative. Yeah. I don't the care. With the motion. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, Julia, I asked for freedom till I got it. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Well then. <laughs> I have a question, uh, Julia and Fred. Uh, are the only people or the only organization that can ask for public information is our board? N no. no, it can be foiled as well. Be foiled. It can be requested you know, as foil. So let me just, Jerome. I have I have foiled for it. I have filed a lawsuit for it. Um, it's now sitting at the court demanding it. Um, so we've done everything that we possibly can. The developer came a couple of weeks ago. We asked for it then. The developer promised that they would give it. Um, Fred, did you get it from the developer? I haven't received it as yet. Okay, so, I mean, we've asked. And I think the more that we ask, maybe somebody might hear us if we ask enough, I don't know. But that you can foil for it, um, you know. Thank you. So, so in this, so okay, Tamara, this, this, this to it is, I'm going to ask for it at every possible way, and at every possible juncture, and in every single time that somebody stands up and anything that has to do with CB9, I'm going to ask for it. Okay. okay no, it's super, super helpful. I just wanted to get. I know, and and, yeah. and you can see. Okay, we, we're on to two more minutes. Okay. Minute. Okay. So, okay. Well then. Okay, so okay, can I get a vote for for? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. Oh, two participants are raised there. Oh, no, that's, I'm counting your hands twice. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, does anybody else count, count at six? Did we get six? Okay, I got six. six. Okay, six, four. How many abstaining? Can you put your hands down? If you have your little electronic hands, can you put it down? You're gonna confuse me. Okay, abstaining. Opposed. Okay, no abstaining, no opposed. Nicholas is not, I'm voting no. He okay. said it in the chat. Okay, I see it now. Okay, four. Requesting, restricted declaration from CB9 for Department of City Planning. Okay, we're I, at one more minute. Okay, go ahead. I would like to put a motion on the floor for your presentation that you did to be presented to the ULIP committee on next Tuesday. I know the ULIP committee is talking about allowing each committee to come in and present any information that they have on this project. I, your um, presentation really gives a very detailed information about this restrictive declaration and really shows why it's so important to have because it controls so many things that we would want to be informed about, including the affordable housing, including the height restrictions, the density, the design of the building. So I would like to put a motion on the floor that the Parks Department present this graph, this presentation to the EULA committee on Tuesday. Can we get a second? I, I, I second, here's the question. What does MIH stand for? You it's, use that in your presentation? I'm sorry about that. It's a mandatory inclusionary housing program. It's okay. a program that's connected to uh, 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 a city program that allows developers to come in and break height limits and build very tall buildings and in replace, they give them a certain amount of affordable housing. Uh, and then, and affordable housing is, is the question because it's, uh, for, the question would be affordable to who? Because it's not, it's not affordable to people who already live in this community or any community that it ever breaks the height of. It is affordable to people who are in upper middle class, period. Okay. I was, 
I was at the housing committee yesterday and they will be presenting information at the Yola committee next Tuesday as well about the affordable affordability of the housing component of this project. So if you're interested in learning more about it, I suggest that you come to the Yola committee on Tuesday and they will be doing the presentation. And there's information on the MIH in the chat as well. Okay, can I get, a, we're, we're, I'm clocking down on our time. Can I get a second on, on um, that I make a presentation? Okay, can, um, okay, all in favor of that there would be a presentation? Maybe somebody can help me do this when we go. We all can go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six, seven. Okay, all opposed? All opposed? Okay, um, abstaining? Okay, passes. Presentation to ULERP committee next Tuesday. Okay, passes. Okay, so we are now at um, 8.13. Um, I, Nicholas, I see that you, have that you have stayed. I got it. Okay, um, we have a secretary for next time. And I think we can wrap it up. You have been more than patient and it was a pleasure to do this. I worked really hard to be um, prepared for this meeting and it worked out just fine. So thank you all. I hope to see you again next month. And then we will only have two more months that we have to come back. And then we have a summer break. Can, yes, can, I, can I move that Tamar brings cookies uh, for the next meeting? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and okay, and so, and uh, okay, and we have, we have two more things that will happen. No, so no, 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 um, I'd like to make a point of information and extend the meeting for another 20 minutes. I'm making a motion to extend the meeting for another 10 minutes. Okay, all in favor? It's okay. Yeah, you got one vote. Okay. Uh, seven. Eight. Okay. Nicholas, you're losing people. Uh, my point of information, I, I like to make a motion to extend the meeting for at least seven to 10 minutes because there's some points I didn't get to make because of the breakdown in the communication. Is there a second? You got, you got the second already. Yeah. I got a second, all in favor? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Do I see that on the consent? Okay. Yes. All right. Unfortunately, the point I want to make, it seems to be this meeting is mostly about 360, uh, 960 Franklin and mostly about talk. This is more than talk. There's recreation and culture. What happened to this section? Because I wanted to really approach that section. There's a lot more to do than just dealing with talk and 960 Franklin. This committee has to be involved in more than that. There's a situation with the Brooklyn Museum, situation with the Botanical Garden, the Jewish Children Museum and all of the activities, the sports activity within this community board. So unfortunately, I was not able to present my screen to see some of the long-term and short-term on that. So uh, that's the discussion I would like to open. Just, just for a point of clarity, uh, mm. Children's Museum is not in CB9. It's that's not? In, no, it's not, no. it's CB8. It's in CB8, oh, okay. So yeah. I'll take that back because I, I was under the impression that were. I thought we spent within the border. So it's right on the, it's on the south side of Eastern Parkway. Yes. I think the separation was uh, 
middle of Eastern Parkway. It, You're thinking of the Jewish, the Jewish Museum, I think. Right, the Jewish. That's the Jewish Museum. Don't do it. The Jewish that's, Children's that's Museum. Museum. It's called the Jewish yeah. Children's Museum, no? Yes. Yeah, on the corner of Kingston and Eastern Parkway. And, and Eastern Parkway. That's that is in CB9. Which, what are you talking CB9. about? What, the, Jewish the, Jewish the Jewish Museum. The Jewish Museum. The Children's. He said the Children's Museum. He didn't say the Jewish Museum. Yeah. Is this a both question? Question. Is this in the agenda? Is this in the agenda? It's in yes, the that was part of the short term, term and the long term. Short term and long term. Long term. Okay. I, I, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so one thing I can just add, I know that we're out of time, is that we have had, um, like, obviously, I mean, I love parks and I always think about this great intersectionality between many of the issues that run through community boards. Um, and I even think about parks and open space and the fact that we're talking about the garden sh shows that. Um, we've had good presentations that I was really happy about when we've had Brick come through here, the garden talked about their education programs. One thing that I had mentioned at meetings, it was several meetings ago was us really thinking to bring in, even if institutions aren't based here, trying to get some baseline understanding of what are sort of local Brooklyn cultural organizations, like how are they serving our young people? Like, right. and, and if there's something that they need more support in. But I, I would just add that I actually think there's great intersectionality between the fact that there's great programming that actually happens, like Celebrate Brooklyn in, 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 in parks. Um, last night, I was actually at LaFrac seeing a performance in the park. So um, I'm always here for all, for all of that. Um, and so maybe at a future meeting, we can, we can obviously dig more into that. Um, and when we invite people, I, I sort of had the suggestion to really make sure that they're, the cultures are tailoring it to say, not just what we do for everybody, but really like, how are they serving our district? And if there's things that we can do to help advocate for resources that would help them to better serve um, um, our, our be nice. residents. But just wanna acknowledge the intersectionality between all of that. You know, so, I think uh, if I can, oh, I'm sorry. Can I just make a quick comment? Go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I just want to kind of uh, dovetail, I think uh, Tamara makes a, a great point in terms of, especially for the cultural institutions, it's not that, you know, if you don't live in CD8, you can't cross Eastern Parkway and go see it, uh, and vice versa. So these institutions are Brooklyn institutions. Our kids go there. Our kids, you know, still, you know, attend and, and, and you know, have access to that. So there's absolutely an opportunity, and we should do that in terms of engaging them as partners. In terms of if there are programs that are happening there that will benefit uh, our community, we should still engage them, even even despite the, the geographic, you know, the the, the jurisdictional, the fictional jurisdictional uh, distinctions that are, that are made in some cases. Yes. So, so Jerry, has, um, um, Nicholas, can you see this? Can you? Yes. Nick, can you I see saw a Jerry just saw. I just saw a okay. Jerry just saw. Since we're running out of time. I would like for the next meeting that we really spend time to look at this aspect of the committee and develop specific programs that, that would benefit CD98 from sports, culture, music, and so on and so forth. Visual art and etc. Okay? Yes. yes. We're all nodding. People are nodding at you. Okay, so the thing is, is that we had two items that we did not get to. One was the... Um, the Parks Alliance would like us to make a response about um, the survey of the parks. And we just, we tabled that. And so I'm just saying we're tabling it. And we're we tabling it for next month. Yeah. We're tabling it for next month. And then also the Parks, Prospect Parks Alliance has a representative, a representative and she would like to come meet with us. And I'm gonna table that for again next month. Okay, so I'm just saying that these two things are now uh, into, moved into old business. Okay? Yes, I, we, my suggestion is if we can uh, have someone or many members of the committee be dedicated to, to, to be a liaison for each of these major institutions so that on each specific monthly meeting we'll get some kind of a report or presentation from those institutions. I didn't really exactly understand that. Could you say well, what I'm saying? I want to urge members of the committee to become liaison 
somebody who specifically become a liaison for those religion, cultural institutions, and then we could have a report on a regular basis from either the member of the committee or the institution itself. Okay. Okay, so then that means that we need to double back with each other before the, the next meeting. Okay, right. so we all have each other's emails. If you have an institution that you would like to, uh, Nicholas, I'm, I don't wanna speak out of turn here, but mm -hmm. if you have a commit, if you have a, a connection with an institute, or you'd like to make a presentation regarding an institute, get back to Nicholas or myself, and we will, you know, send the email around, and we'll we can chat that way. But that's okay to do it that way, right? Brett, I'm asking a question. You know, Sorry, think, so the question is: Is it okay for us to, um, as a committee, to talk to each other by email? That's okay. That we're not uh -huh. a subcommittee. We just we just chat it. Uh, we've had issues with that in the past. It's better to bring that to the committee set for the actual discussion. So if people are working on things, bring it and discuss it in the committee setting. Okay, so this, Nicholas, and this is going to be a problem. If three people bring somebody from different institutions, how are we going to know? Well, well, that's the thing. I think if you have a connection, that should be related to the chair, and the chair can coordinate the agenda in that respect. Okay, so, so that, that way we're not bumping where everybody brings a friend and we just don't you know, have an hour in your agenda. Okay, that can be coordinated. So, so if you have a connection, then send it to myself or to Nick. Okay. 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 Okay, so is there a um, uh, uh, motion to adjourn? Yes. Motion. Yes. Second. Yes. Thank All you. in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Thank you. Aye. Everyone Aye. Have a lovely have a good week. All right. Aye. Thank you all. Everybody was good. Good night, everyone. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you.